Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window, and today we're going to be doing another Overwatch. Here you can see the suspect has 16 kills, and it's the 15th round, which means he's averaging a little bit over 1 FPR. It's pretty good stats, let's be honest. Not anything insane, but pretty good. Gets caught off guard by that guy jumping out, so I don't think he's using wall hacks, at least not right off the bat. So anyway, peeking over towards window. One guy is picking with an AWP. Uh, AWP does... Well, oh, nice kill onto the guy on stairs, and he does actually juke the guy over by window, but I think that was by design. A lot of people will, like, quick peek something to see if someone's in a location like he just did, and then come back in before the guy can react. It's a good little strategy to make sure that an AW peer takes a shot, and then you can normally re-peek out on him and hold the angle as he tries to peek back into you. Or at least that's the idea. Either way, the suspect is going to make his way over here towards middle. Uh, terrorists making their way over towards B, but a couple of them are all the way back, and I don't know if they're just jumping around, stuck, or what. But the suspect's gonna make his way underpass. Let's see if he's able to catch any of them. Here's some footsteps. I think he heard the footsteps first, which is why he stopped and fell back a little bit. He heard the drop and he came out. Now, this could also be a sign of walls, it's a possibility, but I think these are sound cues. Very good lineup onto that guy's face right there. But then again, that's also kind of how the hallway lines up. As you can see, you can see down the hallway from that angle also. Three more guys over here to the left. One guy jumps up. Crazy shot onto that guy's face. Another guy peeks out. He's going to take a couple of taps with that silenced USP. Hurts him quite a bit, but not enough to take him out. <laughs> Just aiming leg level. And he's going to go down to him. Either way, very good round. A couple of the shots may look a little bit shady. Uh, kind of like walls, in my opinion. But... Definitely not enough evidence. I they're, they're explainable. That's the main thing. If they can be explained through logic, then it's not ever beyond reasonable doubt. Crazy scout shots. Two headshots right there. Another guy over here in uh, jungle and one guy on well, coming up by stairs. He's going to try to defuse the bomb. He knows that they're both on that side. Since it is planted in a way that they can't see, he was going to get really close, but they were able to take him out right before he had like a pixel left on the bomb defuse. And he's going to make his way over here towards the B site. So he's got full body armor. He's taking a couple pre-fire shots over here towards the window in case anyone tries to do a full rush. They also will know his positioning from that, so maybe they'll expect him to stay over there. And since he did reposition so much here, it might be a little more unexpected. They're making their way over here towards the B site slowly. They are making a little bit of noise here and there, so you should know that they're in halls. He peeks out. He does spot one out. Takes a couple taps. and not quite able to connect. One guy coming around towards bench. Maybe a call from his teammate, but again, some of this is looking pretty shady. One guy is in market, able to take him out from behind. He had no idea that way, that guy was there. No call from his teammate or anything like that to let him know. But he's going to go and pick up a scout again. Looks like one guy is making his way through Palace, and Vulture is down here by a ramp. So it'll take down Ross with a, a Rose with a really nice headshot. God, I can't read today. <laughs> Terrace comes out with that AWP, peeks him, and takes the shot before he can react. So far, he's been incredible with this scout. He's got 100% headshot percentage in the second half, and it's a possibility he decided to toggle on or, well, started wall hacking. Gonna make his way over here towards the middle. AWP was picked up. Spots out this guy on catwalk. Hits a nice shot. But he does take his time on that shot. So I'm gonna say that, that looked pretty legitimate. He is hitting a lot of these flick shots with that scout though. And I mean, look at his money right here. He's got $650. So if he keeps buying these scouts, he's kind of screwing himself to always have to deal with buying more scouts. So at least he's really good with it. He's got 24 kills right now, which is really good for the amount of rounds. I mean, we got 20 rounds played. This is the 21st round right now. Nice deagle headshot. It's looking lockier and lockier as the game goes, doesn't it? He's got this AK. He's holding the angle. One guy is coming on the bottom. He does spot him out. Aims on the guy's head. Not quite able to take him down, though. Two guys coming underpass, he's just kind of holding the angle. Spots one out, takes a couple shots. Not quite able to connect. I think he hit him a little bit through the wall, maybe. 92 damage. 
8 HP, it's, it's possible. Wow, that looked lucky. I want to see more now. Shit was just picking up. All right, guys, we got an Overwatch resolution to judge, and I hate that it was cut there because that was insane. That looked like a lock to me. What about you guys? That was either one of the most insane rounds and spray transfers I've seen since, like, Shroud. <laughs> or that was, that was something else. Let's go through it. Uh, minor disruption griefing. We can get that out of the way. He wasn't griefing his teammates or anything like that. Major disruption to other external assistance, like uh, speed hacks, automated jumping strips, upside down views. No, I didn't see any of that. And then we move up to vision assistance. It looked a little bit shadier in the second half. In the first half, most of it was very explainable. In the second half, a lot of it was kind of weird how the lineups looked. Honestly, guys, I think he was using a vision assistance. I think there was enough evidence to say that the way that he was peeking stuff on people looked like he was using a vision assistant. So I want to say evident on this. And I know a lot of you guys are going to disagree with me, but it's just the way that he was playing was just a little bit too fishy for me, especially with his lineups and how he was picking stuff just slightly off the angle, but just on enough to be lined up with the guy's head. So if the guy moved like a little bit, he could see it and just kind of easily get the headshot. Uh, major disruption aim assistance. It didn't look like it at first, but as we kept watching, he picked up that scout, started hitting some crazy flick shots. And then there at the end, that was an insane round. Is that enough to say that he was using an aim lock? Damn, that looked like one to me. I'm going to say evident beyond reasonable doubt because I do believe he was walling. I do believe that was an aim lock, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. Maybe I judged this one wrong. Occasionally that does happen. And, you know, because multiple overwatchers would have to agree with me before he got banned, that's the whole point of the system. Either way, that looked fishy as all fucking hell to me, and I would have liked to see more rounds of it, but I'm pretty sure that that last round looked like an aim lock to me. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.